You're Birdman, Reagan. You listening to me? Shut up. You know I'm right. Are you afraid people will say you're doing this play to battle the impression that you're a washed up comic strip character? Absolutely not. That's why 20 years ago I said no to Birdman 4. Hold the man saw. You, you do Birdman 4. What the hell did you do that for? I like that poster. Now, oddly for me, I actually don't like a lot of attention. And yet I've chosen this job, which is really odd. I got a chance to do something right. I got to take it. I think Michael Keaton is not only a fantastic, great actor, but he could really play with this material and navigate through drama and comedy. Casting Michael Keaton was creatively the most exciting choice. Alejandro, from the beginning, he was like, it's him or I'm not doing the film. We'll make a comeback. Shave off that pathetic goatee. Get some surgery. The parallel is pretty obvious. Not that he's a washed up actor whatsoever, but he did play Batman, of course. Shut up! We grossed billions. Are you ashamed of that? That was 1992. You could jump right back into that suit if you wanted. The pleasure of the film for some people is the meta shadow that's hanging over it. Who was this guy? He used to be Birdman. There's a meta reality that is speaking all the time. I think that all of us did this job in a way to kind of a exploration of our own things and almost like a therapy. Buddy, please! Why do I always end up having to beg people to love me? You're pathetic. Michael opened up what we are perceiving to be as Michael Keaton more than Reagan Thompson. I look like a turkey with leukemia. Whatever was going through his own mind, he's clearly having fun with it. Disappearing. It was a huge amount to get his head around. I don't exist. But when he started, suddenly that guy started just appearing. <laughs> the trick is to take your work seriously and not take yourself seriously at all. That was really good timing. This movie made me remember, I just want to work with people who really go to this level. And when you're in that company of a guy like Alejandro, once that ship leaves the harbor, there ain't no coming back. It gets scary. You don't know exactly where you're going. Can we take one picture? <laughs> What's interesting seeing him play Regan is it's the pain of his experience to be used in what Hollywood does. I just wanted to be what you wanted. Okay, 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 hey, hey. This hey. is the hardest role I've ever seen written for an actor. Manila! Let's get the hell out of here while we can. I ignore this mental formation. None of this costs you anything. He's so brave because he allows himself to almost be unhinged at times when he acts. Nothing, nothing. And I've always thought that about Michael. This play cost me everything. It was an extraordinary experience working with Michael. It's just bizarre and out there in life imitating art, art imitating life. Ah! I always consider him a cinematic anime. You are the original man. These people don't know what you're capable of. You can do it. Hey, don't be a dick. Let me get an autograph. You hear me? You are. Dude, you rock!